What's going on you guys? It's your girl Alize and today it's gonna be a little sit down. Is it a chit chat? I guess we're chit chatting but I just have a lot to catch you up on because your girl has been stressed and low key needs to vent so yeah but I actually filmed my day today so today's Sunday and I usually do self-care on Sundays anyway, you know, to prep myself for the week. And then I've been watching this show, um, Insecure, and then they're over here doing self-care Sunday. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do healthcare, healthcare. I'm going to do self-care Sunday. So that's what I did today. Um, I'm going to just roll the clip. So yeah, that's what I did today. It was very relaxing. I didn't even speak much. Um, how do you do this? Technical difficulties. Is it technical? Oh, there you go. Um, yeah, it was a really relaxing day and I very much needed it. Um, so... To start off, I have not had my phone on since uh, the day after Thanksgiving, so Friday, and today's Sunday, and I really just did this because I needed it. Um, usually when I'm on vacation, I want to enjoy my vacation, so I turn off my phone, I live in the moment, I forget about time. And I've been so stressed lately to the point where I'm just like, I needed to turn off my phone. I, I'm i the type to distract myself with social media and I will just be on my phone for hours, lose, lose track of time on my phone. And then I'm like, damn, I didn't even do nothing with my day. And that's not, to be honest, like me, I get guilty. Like I like to say like, I completed a task today. Or like, I like to just, I don't know, I kind of feel obligated to do something, you know? But, let me catch you up. So, last time I spoke to you guys was, um, what was my last video? It was in October. Okay, so last time I spoke to you guys, it was like a little bit before Halloween. And, that's when it kind of all started, like... I kind of felt like so rushed I was I've been rushing myself I had to like I so I had gotten a job in October and 
all of October, I was studying from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. I was stressed beyond, like, it was ridiculous. I have never looked at the computer for so long. My brain was dead every single day, but I was just trying to retain information. It was ridiculous. I had no time for nothing, nobody. Uh, my boyfriend was really helpful because he was... He helped me with dinner and stuff because usually I'm the one who cooks, but he knew that I had no time and for us to eat, one of us had to cook. So he cooked damn near like all of October, which I'm so thankful for because that really helped me. That gave me like an extra hour or two of study time, which I needed. Um, but yeah, so I was just studying for um school and to become for like my regular college school and also to become a property and casualty broker agent i kind of forget the name all the time but um it's around that area and yo that stuff is so hard especially when you're just like kind of clueless about that stuff but so October went by and then November came through and it was my baby shower and I low-key was stressing about my baby shower too because I was like damn I don't want hella people to be there like you know it's still COVID I was hoping it would live up to my expectations which it did and I don't know I was just stressed like if it's like anything like I think because I was already stressed, another thing, and like a, an event added on top of that just added like even more stress. And I didn't really have much to be stressed about, I feel like. So, because it was supposed to be a celebration, you know, I'm not supposed to be stressed. But shout out to my mom and my boyfriend's mom for really, 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 really coming through and helping me out with how successful my baby shower came through. Um, at the end of this video, I'm going to show y'all how it went because everybody's asking me how it went and I took some clips for you guys if you're wondering because it was just too beautiful, beautiful to not film. But, um, so baby shower was a success and two days afterwards, I had to take my uh, state board exam and I was not, oh, this was the second time I took my state board, because the first time, so before my state board, ex so before my baby shower, I had taken my state board exam, and I took it in my house, and I don't know why I took it in my house, I thought it would be better, like, hold up, so I thought it would have been better to take my state board exam at home because you know I'm at the comfort of my own home and I just thought that would be better and when it came to the day that's all of a sudden the day where like we get a new fridge there's just hella noise going on my grandpa doesn't have his phone where he didn't pay his phone bill so he needs to use my phone every second so I was just like a lot and on top of that they were like oh you know bathroom breaks you cannot talk you got I kind of just have to like my eyes on the screen the whole time because the web was on the webcam was on and in the middle of my test my computer froze which I mean it happens but like the way it happened it never happened like that before and I was like what the hell I am not trying to I'm a hundred questions in I I just can't be happening so I just waited and waited I googled everything I could to like help my computer like you know unfreeze and everything it said was just to reboot it so I rebooted it then I went back on the website prayed that they would let me take it still like resume and they did thank god but at this point I was just stressed from like the environment from the, how my day was already going so I kind of was just like like I'm here okay let's just get this over with 
Like, I, at this point, I just lost motivation. Like, at this point, I was just taking a test to take a test. So, took my test, failed. I failed by two points. Two points. And I really blame myself because if I didn't let the if I didn't let the frustration get to me, if I actually like really was paying attention to the test and not just trying to skim through it and get it over with out of frustration, like I really felt like I would have passed. So I was like down, like my mood was I felt like a failure. I felt, I was like, I'm not trying to take this test again. This test is like too long, too much, too hard. And then, but I mean, I can't just give up. Like, I'm going to have to take it again. So, I rescheduled another test. And it was, the next test was two days after my baby shower. Boop, baby shower happened. Two days later, I have to take my test. This time, I take my test at the facility. And I take it. I'm the first one there and last one out. And I could not, I could not pay attention for the life of me. Like, I just, I was really trying. I was really, really trying. Finish my test, fail. And, oh my god. Y'all, this is embarrassing. But, um, so I failed and I was like, oh my god, like, I can, like, I just was embarrassed of myself. Like, how did I fail again? Why did I feel like and what what was my excuse? I wasn't at home. There was no distractions and I just didn't I guess I just didn't prep myself enough or I don't know what it was, but I was I'm low-key hard on myself, so Failed and then I was like, I mean I have to just keep trying until I pass right I mean if I stop trying just because I failed, what does that say about myself? So I was like, no, I can't. Like, if I quit now just because I failed, I would be even more mad at myself. At this point, I didn't do all that studying just to fail again, right? So I studied for a week straight. And the day before, I studied six hours i studied in the morning day of went in confident passed oh my god y'all i was so happy to pass like i was not trying to go through that test again i did not want to tell i didn't want to say like oh i failed again like just saying like i failed like i it really gets to me and i know you're supposed to embrace where's my fish at you're supposed to embrace like the downs in your life and you know like oh get through it but I just like I completely like shut down when I fail or when I just have expectations for myself and when I don't live up to the expectations it really it really hurts me so finally passed right and then, but for some reason, I'm still feeling like I'm, I have this expectation of myself. And I don't really know what it is, but I feel like I have to be everywhere at one time to s make everybody happy. And at this point, I feel like I'm making nobody happy. Like, I feel like I was gone for a whole month, didn't show my face. Now I don't have an excuse because, I mean, not that I don't have an excuse, but... Now, like, I feel obligated to be at three places at once and still be calm and over here relax and stuff. And mind you, I'm in my third trimester now, so I'm getting kind of, like, anxious with my baby coming. I want everything to be perfect. I want the whole room to be done. And if in the clip earlier you've seen from my room... It's a mess. I mean, I can, I have, I have her stuff, and I just need to put it away. I need to organize everything, and I'm doing one thing, one day, one thing day by day, because I just don't want to take on the whole thing in one day, unless I have 
like the time which i did have the time today but today i focused on myself but um what was i saying but yeah so with the baby coming i just feel very like intense like i'm gonna have a baby next month and my life is gonna change it's not gonna be i can't just get up and go i can't just everybody says i won't get a full night to rest like i can't just take a nap whenever i want and mind you i'm hella tired now like i'm not one to take a nap but i'm over here taking naps every day and it feels so good my body is over here working hard to keep this baby girl healthy so the best i can do is take a nap and not stress myself and then after i had passed oh my god y'all i came through with like a sickness it was a bug it was disgusting i had a sore throat for two days got rid of it then i just had this lingering cough for hella long and it was not fun like i couldn't like it was like not fun at all so then i was like damn like i need to get myself together i can't be sick right now like i need to be healthy for the baby i don't want to get my boy my boyfriend sick i just just me being sick it was kind of like off for me because i don't really get sick often <laughs> and like i had to sleep elevated y'all because my mucus i had mucus and i guess when you have a cough with mucus you can't just lay down like you need to sleep elevated because when you lay down i found like i realized when every time i laid down i needed to cough like i could not hold it in for my, the life of me and it was like just um a cough that choked me so then i like googled why and it's because your mucus my mucus or your mucus like if you're going through the same thing your mucus <clears throat> when you lay down your mucus gets stuck and it's just like you need to breathe obviously right so it's just sitting right here and then if you sit up right and then right when you get up your mucus breaks down therefore you need to cough it out so i like i was like that makes sense like if you have mucus like it's just sitting there like you're not like elevating yourself to you know let it down or let it out whenever it needs to come out so i had to sleep elevated for a week and that was not fun on my neck on my back on everything <coughs> look see i'm over here coughing for no reason like i have no reason but i'm just coughing so yeah i've been sick and just like random things in my life have been happening to where i'm like just fed up and something about the holidays it doesn't feel the same anymore like for the past couple years during the holidays it's a lot for me like a lot especially when you just have like so many people to You just have so many people in your life you know i don't know how to explain it but i just want to enjoy the holidays again and then this girl's gonna be right after christmas my anniversary is right after christmas so i feel like i should be like happy during the holidays you know not just sad and like dreading it So after Thanksgiving, I kind of was just like, I need to unplug. I need to not, like, I need to not deal with anything. I don't want to deal with nothing. I don't want to deal with no drama. I don't want to deal with not feeling good enough. I just don't want to be part of the world. I, like, wanted to disappear. And I love, like, something about me, I don't know, like, I love to, like, not be relevant sometimes or not just not be here so or like i like to be here but like 
wherever I want to be, you know? And like, and I wanted to be in the moment. I wanted to live in the moment this weekend, holiday weekend. So I turned my phone off and I was kind of just like, okay, now what? And I'm just like thinking and then I was like, no, like I didn't like, I'm not going to dwell on anything I'm sad about. I'm going to get up and do something. Like I'm going to do something I want to do. So that's what I've been doing all weekend. I attempted Black Friday shopping. That was a little hectic. And then came home and I been watched Insecure. By the way, y'all. If you need a show to watch and if you have HBO Max, watch Insecure. Insecure is a really good show and I'm like, I was kind of holding back on it because I had heard about it was a good show, but I was not like, no, it can't be like that good of a show to where it's like, I don't know. I was just not, I don't know what it was, but then my friend Amina was watching, like told me about it and I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to watch it. Watched it, hooked. Binge watched it all weekend I really enjoyed it like I enjoyed not I didn't know what time it was in the day at all like I woke up when I wanted to didn't look at the time like I didn't have my phone on me for nothing and I didn't need it like I didn't find myself wanting to look at the phone I didn't find myself like wanting to be a part of the rest of the world I just wanted to do whatever the hell I wanted to do and that's what I did and I spent all of that day, just Friday, just like relaxing and just binge watching and eating leftovers, Thanksgiving leftovers, hella good. And then yesterday, Saturday, I've kind of just been, what are you? Oh, I'm Sorry, I'm over here like, what the hell did I do? Um, I was kind of just like washing the baby's clothes, like little by little, putting them away, getting my room somewhat together. And no, it doesn't look together at all. It's a work in progress, like I said, like day by day. Me and my boyfriend are just moving little things around and we're just trying to find out the best location for everything, feng shui. Like what, what makes more sense and when the baby's here, what will make more sense? Like, I don't know, my room is too small for the three of us. We need our own home already, but soon, soon we're gonna get our own home. I'm like, I cannot wait to get our own home. So for now, we're just thinking about what is best right now for us um so i was just getting my room together yesterday um i went out to eat good food i enjoyed it and then that was really my day yesterday like i didn't have much to do and really enjoyed it just because like like i said like not knowing what time it is not looking at your phone not being on social media not being a part of like what's going on in the world is really really refreshing i know people talk about like a social media break but like no this was like a life break like i was i'm not trying to i wasn't i mean my phone's still off but it just feels good to not report back to anybody and not think about real life for like a few days so and then fast forward to today, I've kind of just been doing things that needed to happen. I needed to go on a walk. I really enjoy walks. Walks is like really empties my brain or I have time to think and I talk to myself. I say affirmations, the sun, I love direct sunlight. Um, I ate good food. I had Thanksgiving leftovers and I took a shower and uh, and I took a bath and a shower and let me tell you why this felt so needed and so good one obviously you need to wash yourself like duh but 
I don't know if you can relate to this, and I don't know if I'll sound dirty, but when I'm sad and, like, I kind of neglect myself because I get so busy and I get so caught up in trying to do this, trying to do that, trying to satisfy this person, trying to satisfy them, like, it's so, I neglect myself. So I wasn't really taking showers and stuff, like, things that I should be doing. Like, I wasn't having no time for myself, to myself, loving myself. So today I was like, you know what, F it, I'm gonna just take a bath. I haven't taken a bath, bath in a minute. It was nice, you know, just quiet. Took a shower because I still think it's dirty to take baths just because like you're sitting in your own dirt. I, I, I don't know, but so I took a shower and that was really nice. And you already know, like I have to do my skincare routine. I love to obviously lotion myself after a shower. If you do not lotion yourself after a shower, really do that. Really, really do it because your skin needs to be moisturized. Like just like your face needs to be moisturized, your skin does too, boo. Like your skin is the largest, largest organ in your body and just take care of it because it's a good form of self-care. Hashtag self care Sunday. But, um, yeah, so now I'm here. I didn't really do much of my nails. I know I said I was going to, but I guess I just cut them and filed it down. I don't really want to paint them because when I paint them at home, one, they fuck up so easy. Excuse my language. They do fuck up so easily. Again, excuse my language. But I don't know why, like, they don't come out good. And then they'll chip within a day. Even though I put like top coat and all of this stuff, like, so I guess I'm gonna just be rocking these nails for a minute and wait until maybe mid December to get my nails done or something. I don't really know, but I have a like kind of like my in December, I'm saving my last beauty maintenance for December, mid December, end December, like mid end December because. One holidays, two, my baby, three, my anniversary. I want to, I don't want to be like, in the month of January, I'm not trying to be like, you know, that ugly. So I gotta get my nails done, gotta get my toes done, gotta get my eyebrows done, gotta get waxed, you know, the whole shebang. And I really want to get a haircut or like a little trim before then too so who knows but um yes so that was my self-care sunday and as you can tell from my my story no it wasn't my story like me my ranting that i really needed it and I'm kind of mad it took me this long to realize I needed it because everybody kept telling me that I was stressing and I didn't think I was stressing as much as I was until I really felt it in my soul and in my baby and in my heart. So if you're stressed, please give yourself a day in the week to just be selfish and take care of yourself. A day, hour hour at least because it's tough out here. you guys my camera died in the nick of time when i was done with my ted talk and i charged it a little bit to have enough battery to close out today's video but before i go i wanted to show you guys a clip of my baby shower so i'm gonna roll that now
Yes, the baby shower was a successful day, a successful baby shower. Um, I just want to say thank you to everybody who came and thank you to everybody who bought her a present, who got her diapers. Just thank you. Because there's people who like, you know, bought things on my registry and just thank you to everybody. And especially thank you to the people who helped out with making the baby shower happen. I appreciate you guys and I love you guys. Um, that's all for today's video. Give me a thumbs up if you like today's video. Subscribe to me if you like me and leave a comment down below. Bye, guys.